Okay, so lead code practice time. Uh, in this video, there are two goals. So the first goal is to see how to solve this problem, and then we are going to put some code. And the second goal is to see how we are going to behave during a real interview. So let's get started. So largest BSD subtree. Um, given the root of a binary tree, find the largest subtree, which is also a binary search tree where the largest means subtree has the largest number of nodes. So a binary, a BSD is a tree which all the nodes follow the below mentioned property. So less subtrees values are less than the value of their parent nodes value. And the right subtree values are greater than the value of their parent nodes value. Note a subtree must include all its uh, de descendants. Can you figure out ways to solve it with all of n time complexity? All right, so let's see example one. So for this one, we are going to return three because the maximum BST is this. All right, so let's see the constraints. So the number of the nodes in the tree is in the range of zero to 10K and uh, the nodes value are between negative 10K to positive 10K. All right, so I think we pretty much understand the problem. Uh, I would say one ash case uh, at the first step we could think about is um, if the root is a num pointer, which means it is an empty tree, then we just return zero. All right, then let's think about the general solution, how to solve this problem. So the BST, the property of BST is all the values in the left subtree are smaller than the roots value and uh, all the values on in the right subtree are larger than the roots value so based on this property uh, we could do we could define some recursive function so the recursive function is going to return the max value and the right value uh, with, within the tree within the within the tree so um, so for example we call when we call so let's take this subtree as an example so for this one the the max and min are ones from the left subtree and the max means uh, from the right subtree is eight so when we compare the max value from the left subtree if it is uh, if it is um, so if the max value from the left subtree is larger than roots value, then it, it will make the this uh, the subtree with root with this root going to be a invalid subtree. But for this one, it's not the case. So from the left subtree perspective, this is a valid subtree. And similarly, we compare the minimum value from the right subtree and min actually is larger than the roots value so it is a valid subtree so from the left and the right perspective it's a uh, valid subtree so so we are going to consider this subtree as a valid thing and the size of it is a is three and when it is a leaf node um, we just uh, need to record the min and the max as the roots the, the node value and return tr return that it is a right it is a it is a valid BST. So that's pretty much it about the recursion definition. Um, so if for a certain root, if uh, either of the left or the right subtree is invalid, then it will make the whole subtree starting from the root to be a invalid subtree. So I would say in this in the recursive function we are going to re return four things. One is the max value uh, of the of the of the from from the nodes within the tree and the and the max value of all the nodes within the tree. And also we are going to say whether the the current subtree or tree is a valid BSD. And uh, we are going to also return the maximum uh, BST, the size of the maximum BST within the tree. So for this solution, we are just going to iterate, uh, sorry, we are just going to traverse all the nodes just once. So it is going to be a linear solution. When I say linear, it means uh, linear to the number of the nodes within the tree. 
So um, let's do some coding work. So for coding part, we care about the speed, correctness, and uh, the readability. So let's define um, the, the return value for the helper function we are going to define. So let's define um, class, let's say private class, um, BST uh, params. So we are say we are going to say public int min public int max and public is uh, BST. Uh, this is going to be a Boolean, and we are going to say um, hmm, a max BST size. So we are going to give it a constructor, let's say BST uh, params. So this is int uh, min int uh, max uh, boolean is BST and uh, this is int max uh, BST. So this dot min is equal min, this dot max is equal max, uh, this uh, dot is BST is in case BST um, this dot uh, is BST. Okay, this is a constructor of it. So for this uh, function, first of all, we are going to deal with some ash keys. So if root is equal to num pointer, then we are simply going to return zero. So otherwise, we are going to call a helper function. So let's say we call return uh, let's say largest BST helper sub she helper so call it on the root and we are going to return max BST all right so let's define the body of this function um, private uh, int uh, sorry, this should be BST params. Uh, what I was thinking. So, she know that as a root. So, first of all, it is to define. So, for recursion, remember the first thing is not to always define the exit of it. So, if root dot left is equal to a non pointer, and uh, root dot right is equal to a then pointer that it means it's a leaf node. So what we are going to do is we are just going to return new BST params um, read that value read that value and uh, is BST is true and also the max BST size as one. All right so if it is not a leaf node um, you're going to visit its left subtree and the right subtree. So I would say we let's define the main uh, as equal to root dot value and the max as root dot value. Uh, Boolean uh, is PST as uh, true and Boolean sorry int max bst as uh, let's say zero all right so hmm. so we are going to say if root dot left is not equal to none then we are going to go we are going to visit its uh, left subtree so the left is going to be largest BST subtree helper on top of root dot left. So, um, so we would say that the min value is going to mass dot min, uh, min uh, or left dot uh, min. So, if uh, the if the maximum value of the left subtree is larger 
or equal to root dot value, then it is not a BST. It's not a valid BST. So it, this is going to set as false. Um, and the max. So the max BST would be set as root dot uh, max BST. Uh, sorry, uh, left dot max BST. All right. So this is the code visiting the left subtree of it. All right. So um, if um, root dot right is not equal to none, then we are going to visit its right subtree. So similarly, yes, right is equal to the largest uh, yes subtree helper on top of root dot right. So max is equal to max dot max. Uh, this is max. This is a uh, right dot max. All right. So if um, root right dot min. So the minimum value from the right subtree, if this one is smaller or equal to root dot value, then it's going to be a invalid subtree. So then its BST is going to be a false uh, stuff. Um, yeah, and also I think I forgot one thing is if uh, left dot is BST, if the left subtree is not a valid BST, its BST should be set as false. Similarly, we are going to do the same thing here. So if uh, not right dot is BST, we are going to say is BST as false. Okay. So um, here until now, we should uh, say that so the min is said max is said is bst is said so the last thing is max bst so i would say if so if until now it is still a valid bst we are going to say max bst plus equal to the right dot max bst all right otherwise we are just going to say max uh, BST is equal to mass dot max max BS uh, sorry uh, max BST and this is the right uh, max BST all right so finally if it is a valid BST we should consider to add a one on top of uh, max BST because we haven't considered the root node for yet and then we are going to return a new uh, BST params this is the min this is a max and is BST and also the max BST all right so after you're done with coding it's time for us to do some testing so we could use uh, go through a very simple example to explain how this piece of code is going to work so let's say we just use uh, this subtree as an example let's say the input root input node is this one all right so we call it the largest subtree helper on top of this root and uh, return the return value dot max pst so so it's not a leaf node and uh, it's going to call the left subtree and right subtree so left subtree is a leaf node so it is going to return uh one one and true and one and uh we see that uh left so the main currently uh, when left when the left left subtree call is returned we see that the main should be one and the left so the left is bst is true so this won't work 
and the if left out max is larger or equal to root so we, we are not going to touch this if branch so the max bst is equal to one currently and after the right branch is returned uh, so the right branch is a leak node it, it's going to return min max as eight is bst as two and max bst as one so after this is returned we say that max is equal to eight so right is a bst so this won't work and uh, this won't work either so is so is bst is yes so max bst plus equal to one so max bst equals to two so max b okay so max bst okay and then is bst is true then we are going to have plus plus max bst so now it is equal to three so finally we return min as one max as eight is bst is true max bst is uh eight no sorry max bst as three so that's uh yeah i think it should work on this simple example and uh, we have pretty much explained how this code is going to work so let's uh just make use of this uh, platform to run the code and do some debugging. Yeah, so this one is accepted and uh, let's do a submission. Yeah, so you see that I did a couple of submission before. Yeah, so I will tell you what I did wrong. So what I did wrong is I missed this one. So so before I set right dot mean is smaller than root dot value. Um, instead of smaller or equal to and similar for this and then it failed the code because um, for the definition of the BST all the all the nodes from the left subtree should be smaller not smaller or equal to the root node yeah so that's essentially what I did wrong um, yeah so other than that I think we should be good about this uh, question so um yeah so that's it for this question um if you find this video a bit helpful please uh help subscribe to this channel and i'll see you next time thanks for watching